Meenakshi is six years old, but she could pass off as a toddler. She can barely speak, and she cannot walk either. Her mother Saurabh Bhai and her husband live in Oriya Basti, two kilometers from the Union Carbide factory. On the night of December second, in 1984, Saurabh Bhai and her husband were treated for gas poisoning. Decades later, it's tough for them to understand why their daughter has to pay for a gas leak that happened before she was born. जब से बीमारी बीमार रहे ऐसे ही ऐसे रहे बिना वही जब से When 14-year-old Suraj Raghuvanshi, suffering from a speech disorder and unable to walk, started making sounds last year, his mother Kesar Bai was grateful. वो सारा कर देते हैं मतलब रोने लगते हैं तो अपन समझ जाओ कि इन्हें पानी पीना। But everyone in this room knows, however little the progress, this is the best it will ever be. In this center, animal sounds made by mute children are occasions for celebration. The Indian Council of Medical Research had commissioned studies to analyze the aftermath of the disaster. While they did confirm that long-term damage would happen, the studies were soon abandoned. To date, no systematic treatment is provided to gas victims and their children. My child was born. There is one percent genetic mutation. I don't know. But after a certain percentage, it will be evident. In the 1980s, Union Carbide dumped tons of poisonous industrial waste here. When bore wells were dug, the chemicals got mixed with the water. In Blue Moon Colony, three kilometers from the plant, four-year-old Musa's proudest possession are these stars and stripes shorts. It's unlikely that his fascination for the American flag will stay when he grows up. His skin disease keeps getting worse. His mother doesn't realize it's the water that they've been drinking for years that is perhaps responsible. वो इलाज कराया हमने हमीदिया का पिराई बेड फिर इसके बाद में हम तो थक गए तो अब बेड गए एवरी सेकेंड हाउस यर हैज यंग अडल्ट लाइक ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड गीता एंड ममता दिस एज नॉट दे फॉल्ट दे लुक लाइक दिस अनेबल टू बेद